Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to a very special Destiny 2 weekly reset video. My name is Story and the season of opulence is upon us. It is June the 4th and we're running up until June the 11th. This is the first time stepping into the tower in the new season 7, so I have no idea what's changed, but we're going to have a wee look uh, and we're going to start off by looking at our director screen. How's about that then? Um, of course, this is our tower map. Um, vendors are a lot positively alight. It's like Christmas Day. We've got lots of things to go and uh, peruse and have a look at. Um, we've got a new pursuits tab here um, instead of it being in your menus. Lots of things have changed, but we're going to concentrate on the, the weekly reset. I'm not going to spoil anything, or at least I hope not anyway. So, um, of course, there's going to be a lot of new stuff that I'm not going to be that um, au fait with. I'm not going to be too familiar with that at the moment. So, uh, by next weekly reset, we should have a lot more of a, a grasp upon what's actually happening. But of course, if you're new to the game, uh, you're going to have a quest to begin, a Season of Opulence quest, which will allow you access to the new raid if you are interested in taking part in that and you are high enough power, whatever the power requirement is. But there is a campaign quest line that you'll need to complete on each character. And if you're planning World's First Raid, um, if you want to take part in that kind of thing, you have to make sure that each and every fire team member has cleared this campaign. Alrighty then. So vendors are alive. We've got something at Eververse. Uh, we've also got um, oh that's my breakneck and we've got an Imperial Summons that will be um, pertaining to um, Benedict 99. He's moved from the depths of uh, the cellar over to the Annex, so we're going to have a little look at what he's got for us in a moment. Destinations wise, Vanguard playlists we always begin with. We've got the same daily heroic story missions. Complete three of these to get yourself some powerful loot. You have a choice of five missions, and these rotate on a daily basis. So every 24 hours, these will change. So if you don't like the look of these, just wait 24 hours. The Vanguard playlist has Void Singe for the week. Then we have uh, daily uh, modifiers Iron and Heavyweight. These will change on a 24-hour basis at the daily reset also. Okay, moving on to the Vanguard Strokes. Complete a daily, and that will get you some powerful loot. And now we know that this is going to be changing. The weekly, complete strikes using the same subclass element as the currently active elemental burn so no longer do you have to match up what your fire team members are using you have to match the weekly burn which is void singe very very intelligent change i applaud this this is good stuff so make sure that if you want to complete that strikes weekly challenge for your powerful loot be on a void subclass all right then we've got nightfalls uh, complete a nightfall that'll get you some powerful loot complete it again with a score above a hundred thousand for yet even more powerful loot the three nightfalls this week are a garden world the corrupted and arms dealer now a garden world will net you a ghost an exotic ghost if i'm not mistaken the corrupted will net you the horrors least um Pulse Rifle, that is the strike-specific loot for these uh, Nightfalls. And the Arms Dealer will net you a Tilt Fuse Exotic Sparrow. There you go. So uh, that is your Nightfalls this week. Now then, let's move on to Gambit. Um, of course, we've got the Reckoning. Uh, complete activities to 100% worth of stuff, and then you get um, powerful loot. It's, it's that simple. Then we've got Vanilla Gambit, complete a match for powerful loot, complete three matches for even more powerful loot. Um, that is Gambit Vanilla. Then we've got Gambit Prime, the souped up version of Gambit, and complete four matches of those four powerful loot. Private matches is all on its own look. Um, that's just for fun with friends. Okay, nice. Oh, and we do have actual modifiers, separate modifiers. Uh, that is Solar Singe um, for the uh, Gambit playlist, or the Reckoning, rather. And then the daily modifiers are Attrition and Heavyweight. Those will rotate on the daily reset. There are three tiers, of course. Tier 1, Tier 2, and 3. And they have um, differing uh, light um, power levels, recommended power levels. There you go. Uh, let's have a look at the Crucible this week. What have we got? Well, we've got our static playlist, quick play and competitive for the season start. We've got rumble and the rotary playlist is mayhem. So if you like throwing as many supers as you possibly can, then that is the playlist that you want to be in. Uh, complete five games of any of these playlists minus the private match playlist and get yourself some powerful loot from these. Isn't that nice? How about flashpoints this week? That appears to be on Nessus. So uh, the weekly flashpoint complete public events on the planet 
um, in question and uh, you'll get yourself some progress uh, you can check the progress here um, and that will get you some powerful loot but don't forget there is always a heroic adventure to do and this will contribute 35% towards your flashpoint and also get you some powerful loot so that's two times powerful loot if you do that in the right order uh, so there you go that is the flashpoint this week okay dreaming city curses on week three um, we have uh, Pet Revenge over here. Weekly bounties complete. That will get you some powerful loot. The Ascendant Challenge is in the Harbinger's Seclude. So uh, drink that tincture of Queen's Foil and go and do your Ascendant Challenge there. But make sure, go to uh, Pet Revenge and pick up your bounties first. Um, and uh, there you go. That will get you some more powerful loot. Isn't that nice? Right then, let's go and have a little look at what we've got at uh, Gunsmith. Because apparently now he's going to have bounties for us as well as uh, some stock. So we'll have a little bit of a shifty. Mm, so the gear mods uh, for today's reset are Paragon Mod and Freehand Grip. And now we've got available bounties here as well. These are Ward Mod components and Enhancement Cores. I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of those. So that's the change to the Gunsmith. That's right there. Uh, we're going to hop on over to the Annex and um, have a look what's on there as well. So uh, join me in a moment. Benedict 99, he's in here, look. So if you fast travel to the Annex and land there, he's in a new, he's got a new room all to himself. Isn't that great? Right then, we've got an Imperial Summons. This is going to be for the quests and whatnot. But anyway, we've got um, the Eater of Worlds helmet. We have a Spire of Stars gauntlets. We've also got the Spire of Stars chest piece, Spire of Stars boots, and a normal Leviathan um, uh, class item there. And this is Alone as a God sniper rifle. This is the fixed role that's been knocking about um, here and there um, since the very beginning of the Leviathan Raid. Still a fantastic sniper. We're, I'm kind of hoping for some random rolls on these things at some point. It would be nice to get them. Maybe in the future we could see those added. But that is Benedict. There he is. Let's go and have a look at Ada and see what she has. Everything appears the same. We've got a daily and weekly bounties. Of course, the weeklies, once you complete those, you'll get a ballistic log so you can pick up a weapon frame. These will be powerful weapon frames. So if you're chasing after light level, this is the kind of stuff to go for. Uh, do all the milestones and whatnot. And that is the list of all the bits and pieces. And of course, you can pick up some mod components and there's your black armory special mods as well. Uh, and there you go. We're going to wrap up the video by having a look at Eververse stock now. This is going to be spoiler central. So uh, avert your eyes if you're not in interested. I'm going to have to resist the temptation to slap open my own purse and spend all my cash at Eververse. We do get a bounty. I'll grab that and oh, ooh, look at this. It's a makeover. Everything's changed. So you've got some featured business. This is very similar to kind of like Warframe's layout now. We have uh, an emote on sale here. The um, Sabrage Salute. Oh, I'm going to chop off the bottle and am I going to drink? No, we don't drink. We just chop the tops off our bottles and off we go. There's a weapon ornament for a new exotic there. A submachine gun. That looks nice, I will admit. I would have that in my basket. We've also got an exotic ship. That's um, odd, but, you know, we'll have it. Uh, the Calypso, an exotic sparrow. <laughs> kind of like it. I think that's that, that's semi-decent there. Imperial Beast Projection for our uh, ghosts there. And a best of year one engram. Can you believe it? This is old school stuff right here. I'm not sure if I was missing anything in particular, but you'd be able to... Oh, look at this. I did. I really wanted one of those helmets for a Titan, and I didn't get one. So uh, there we go, man. So you can go back to all that stuff. They've got the armor, all the year one armor, uh, all the year one ornaments as well. If you happen to be missing any of those, um, then we've got ghost shells. And then there was uh, emotes as well. I think I was missing the tabletop flipping emote, but that's not there for some reason. I'm not sure why, but there we go. Uh, there is sparrows there, all the year one sparrows and ships. That's not all of them. That's just well, the, the, the DLC wise. And then shaders. Oh, there's plenty new shaders. We're going to have. Oh, no, the, the shaders have actually changed icons at the moment. So we've got some new icons for shaders uh, and mods, um, of course, transmat effects and whatnot. But let's have a look at the actual stuff that we've got here. We've got seasonal view offers avail available on the current season. So we've got a starter pack so you can get some um, opulent engrams for 800 silver. We've got an 
Intrepid Hunter Pack for 1200 This will give us some of the new armor, the, the Eververse armor. It's very bland, isn't it? It's got Indiana Jones whip and business right there. How about the Intrepid Titan? I kind of like the Wild Westness and rusticness of it kind of thing. And then, oh, look at this. We've got a new version of that rice farmer kind of helmet going on there that's uh, an incredible lovely jubbly we've got the queen cobra that's an ornament for um i do believe that's the um does it not tell us what it is it is the aphidia spathe yes there it is right there which means da -da -da -dun, that is a, a weapon ornament for the taraba taraba so that is um, a machine gun. That's cool that it actually tells you what it's for. Uh, blued steel hunter ornament for the Shards of Galanor. The Shards of Galanor gets an ornament. That's pretty cool. Very similar to the original, but still, uh, it was very good. Um, then we've got the... Oh, Syntheseps get an ornament for once as well. Look at that. I like it. That is pretty... The Siva, Siva style Syntheseps. Absolutely amazing. Love it to bits. And then there is a, an ornament for the one-eyed mask. No way. There we go. It literally one tiny little eye. That's pretty cool as well. Cadius ornament for Ophidian aspects. That's the first time we've had uh, ornaments for Ophidian aspects. There you go. Snakes. Snakes galore. Electromag stabilizers. Got to be for geomag stabilizers there. Excellent. That looks really, really cool. I'd love some gauntlets that look like that. Wouldn't that be nice? And there is another page as well. Uh, Beggar to be fed, an ornament for the Epicurean fusion rifle. These look like old D1 Vanguard style stuff. Broken bird to be healed. Um, weapon ornament for the oil stringer. This is the um, Ias Luna looking gun. Um, unseen to be shown. For a LMG, I'm not going to go through every single one of these. King in all directions, this has got to be for the Revoker. Um, new Pinnacle Sniper Rifle. Then we've got the Pinnacle um, Grenade Launcher there. It's an Omelon one. Then there's the Pinnacle Gambit Weapon there. And we've also got Unloved to be Cherished, a Sniper Rifle as well. So these are basic kind of Vanguard style ornaments. There's so much though. Look at this. There's another emote there incredibly happy it could take a long time going through all of these there's projections we've got hive stuff as well here as well as uh, some new transmat effects eververse has really gotten a makeover and there's no wonder why it's got a makeover when this is going to be one of the primary sources of cash flow being as that bungie have uh, broken away from uh, activision now so uh, if you want to support the game i guess you have to crack open your purse let's see how it goes though first before we do any of that we've got archives uh, so you can peruse some of the previous stuff that uh, we've had um at the moment i think these are uh, archive you can have a chance to buy some old um older um eververse stop which is good because there's a few things that i'd like to get myself um when i've got a bit of money and then of course you can get some bits and pieces oh and you can buy stuff for bright dust this is very handy i'm glad this hasn't been got rid of mirror mirror so <laughs> we've got an emote where we're oh that's cool i like it and then we've got the mother load. This is a vehicle. Wow. That is the oddest sparrow I think we've ever had in the Destiny universe. I'm going to have to have it. There is the um, intrepid hood or helmet. That, uh, I, I expect it, we need a pipe. I'm smoking a pipe with that. And there's a new um, mod socket there as well. The Electromag Stabilizers is here. I'm going to have to purchase this. Uh, defenseless to be armed. This is for a SMG there. And then there is the last... Oh, oh wow. that That's a bit odd that that comes back. That was a... a, a um, ornament specifically for people who pre-ordered Forsaken. And now that is actually available for purchase for Bright Dust. So I think some people are going to get a bit salty over that. And then there's some consumables. Amethyst Veil. A new black and silver and white shader. Not bad. And then dark blade effects. So this is a transmat effect. <gasps> I like it. I think I might have to actually purchase some of that immediately. And then there's Metro Shift. We've all seen that, but it's got a new um, 
icon there. Let's buy that as well and add that to the collection. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Eververse stock. We've gone on for a while on that. So uh, now it's a case of starting the campaign for Season of Opulence. Have an absolutely fantastic week in Destiny. And um, slap in the comments what you're most happy about or most displeased about. And we'll look forward to having a good old chat. And in the meantime, though, folks, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember, Smokers a Kipper will be back for breakfast.